Hi everyone, today we're going to be making Keto Maui ribs, just in time for summer grilling season. Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto recipes and carnivore cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Okay, so what are Maui ribs? They are beef short ribs. They are cut across the bone. This is also called flanken cut. Half an inch thick. I've got about almost two pounds here of these ribs. And Maui ribs, apparently, are, I, you know, I'm just reading this on Wikipedia, so I don't really, I can't verify, although I've been to Maui. Um, but Maui ribs originated in Kihei, Maui, and uh, there was a little cafe called Azika's, and they served these ribs. Now, Maui ribs here where I live are hugely popular. They're kind of a summer tradition. You can actually buy bags of Maui ribs, these ribs already soaking in the liquid in a kind of a gold bag at the grocery store. You can just buy it like that, take it home, barbecue it. So that that's kind of a, you know, something that happens every summer around here. It's been like that for years and they're great for entertaining, taste amazing loaded with sugar. So we are going to make a keto version of that. Um, I think it actually tastes a little better to make your own with fresh ingredients anyways. Um, and so, so that's what we're going to do. Now these Maui ribs, well, they're these flank and cut ribs that I got from the butcher are much wider. So normally when you buy them in the package pre-marinated, they're about this thick. That's that's normal. They gave me one like that. The rest are double. So so yay, more meat. Um, so that's awesome. So if you are feeding a crowd, you definitely want to double or triple this. I'm making enough marinade just for this here. So let's get started. I'm going to chop up some garlic, ginger, and I'm going to talk about the the sauce part of it. Then we're going to marinate it, and um, normally you would grill it. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the oven and broil it. You can do either. Okay, so I'm gonna start with garlic and ginger. Um, so this recipe, I've never measured before. I'm kind of trying to do that now for you guys. Uh, I would say put as much garlic as you like, put as much ginger as you like. To me, the more ginger, the better, but let's, for today's purposes, I am doing three garlic cloves, big garlic cloves. And that's, I am just crush them so that the skin comes off easily. Chop them up finely. Just as small as you can. All right. I'm gonna make my sauce in here, garlic in there. I have a pretty decent sized piece of ginger here. I'll probably use about half. So if you're trying to figure out how much I'm using, I would say minimum of two tablespoons will give it a nice zing. Of course, I usually end up with more because it just makes it taste so good. Now, if you are using ginger that is a small, like some of these are hard to peel because they're so tiny, you can just grate it with the skin on um, because you're not going to actually be consuming it. It's just going in the marinade and that will all, you know, get dumped out at some point, but it's just to give this flavor. And I do still have a little bit of the skin on because I'm just not that picky. Okay, so that looks like about two tablespoons, probably a little bit more. I'm just gonna scoop that up in there. Get it all out, all that juicy ginger goodness. So traditional Maui ribs are loaded with brown sugar, like a lot of brown sugar. I'm going to use brown sugar swerve because I find that it has the 
very similar properties to actual brown sugar. I'm going to use half a cup in this. It uh, packs nicely. It smells like brown sugar. So there we go. And then there's a sauce. So there's different sauce options you can use. You can use soya sauce. That's what they use in the original Maui recipe, Maui rib recipe. A lot of keto people don't like to use soy sauce, so that's up to you. You can use Bragg's liquid seasoning. You can use coconut aminos. You can use tamari. Um, I found this at the supermarket the other day. It's called Naked and Saucy Organic Soy Sauce Substitute. Perfectly salted, gluten-free soy sauce. So I am going to give that a try. We need a cup though, and I don't think I have a whole cup here. I don't. So I'm going to top it up with some of this stuff. So honestly, feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with. All of the options, they do have carbs. Um, this, I think uh, Bragg's has about 48 carbs in a cup, which is an amazingly high number, I thought. Um, however, don't forget, you're not actually going to be consuming this. It's, it's going to add flavor and tenderness to the ribs, but you won't be eating all this. Um, most of the marinade will go down the drain in the end. Um, so keep that in mind before you get too worked up about the number of carbs in it. Oh, here's final ingredient that you don't have to add. I like to add. Um, it is a seed oil. It's sesame seed oil. We're adding two teaspoons. Leave it out if you feel strongly about this. I find that there's enough flavor in this to justify having it um, with that amount that is going to go down the drain anyways. So here we go. Um, you can also get, if it makes you feel um, more comfortable, you can get organic cold pressed sesame oil. So that might, that might help you. But I'm, I'm going for it. Father's Day is coming up and this is a great Father's Day dinner idea, I think. Okay, that's it. That's all, that's all I add to it. Oh yeah, I can taste those Maui ribs already. So then you want to marinate this and I like to use a Ziploc bag. These are huge. Uh, normally I can fit six or eight ribs in here, no problem. Um, so uh, let's see what happens here. I'm going to try to see if I can fit all these ribs in here. They're quite large. Um, I will, I should be able to, I might have to double one up, but uh, that's the nice thing about getting things from the butcher. They kind of supersize things sometimes. And if you're, if you're keto, you like that. You want that meat. Oh yeah, look at this, it barely fits in here. I've got one extra rib that's going to go here. I, I like to have them kind of flat and all in a, in a line, but I have to also be able to close it. So then we're going to pour the marinade in there. Okay, I still have some. Okay, I'm just gonna get the rest, whoops. The rest of that out of there. All right. So fold that guy back down. Try not to spill it all over your counter. And zip it up. Okay. So then, obviously you need some marinating time. What I like to do is put it in a flat container like this. I would say marinate these for 24 hours to 48 hours. 
I've heard of some people going longer. Um, so I usually, I put these in the fridge and then every time I open the fridge to look for something or do something, I flip them. I, the reason I like to have it in a container like this, uh, you just never know. You never know, you know, if you have kids in the house, you never know what they're going to do, right? <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, this is the sort of thing that keeps me up at night. Is somebody going to poke a hole and there's going to be soy sauce marinade all over my fridge? So this keeps it safe. You can flip continuously and that's going to go off into the fridge. Okay, so rather than make you wait 24 hours for the end of this video, I already have some here. Um, these have been in the fridge now for two days. I have, I think about six ribs in here and I have an experimental one here. I wanted to try and make it with a pre-made sugar-free sauce. So I bought this Hawaiian style barbecue sauce the other day, Primal Kitchen. It is sugar-free. Um, it, it's uh, Whole30 approved, all natural ingredients. I don't, I don't even see a sweetener in here. Um, they use coconut aminos. Anyways, I thought it might taste similar to the Maui rib sauce. I thinned it out with some, with some water and I just put a tablespoon in here with some water and one rib. I was just gonna try it. It'll be an experiment. Um, see what that's like. Cause then if I'm ever in a, in a real rush, I could use something like that, but we'll see. I've got my oven on broil. So this will be just like, well, not just like grilling it, but it'll be similar timing. So if you do the Maui ribs and you want to put them on your barbecue, Heat your barbecue to medium heat and grill for four or five minutes per side. They should be cooked quickly and not too high um, or they could burn. They're very thin. Um, and so same here with the, I've, I've put, my oven does a high broil and a low broil setting. So I've set it to low and I'm gonna do five minutes per side because I think that'll be the safest thing to do. Okay. These are nice and dark. They smell amazing in here and I've been flipping them every time I open the fridge. They're the widest ribs I've ever seen. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna have to scooch them down to fit this last rib in, my experimental rib. So look at how much of that marinade is left. I mean, that's almost a cup there. So I did see uh, when I was reading up on the Azika grill that they used to take the marinade and boil it to make a sauce. I'm just not gonna go that far. I'm not even sure if that's safe to do, but who knows? There we go, there's the last rib. Now I had that folded in half and you can see that some of the marinade didn't penetrate there. Okay, these are going in for five minutes on broil, about four inches away from the, the element, and then I'm going to flip them. Oh, look at that. Look at those. Oh. All right. These are done. I did have to switch the broiler to high. I only have a low setting and a high setting and I wish there was a medium setting. So at the five minute mark on low, I realized they weren't cooking enough. They weren't gonna get crispy enough around the edges. So I switched it to high for when I turned it over and then I let it go for another two minutes to get this. So you'll have to, you know, this will depend on your oven, how hot it gets, whether you have the right type of settings. Um, like I said, most of the time these are barbecued on the grill. So medium setting, four or five minutes per side and look at what we get here. I'm just going to put them on the plate. Um, normally these are traditionally garnished with sliced green onions. But my garden is overrun with chives. And so I want to use up some of my chives. And we are going to put these, oh, look at this. 
These are huge. I think they're going to be delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm speechless. They look amazing, they smell amazing. Okay, let's dig in and give these a try. Oh boy. These are perfect looking. Okay, that was, that bite was everything I had hoped for and more. They are tender, they're saucy and full of flavor. You can taste that ginger, sweet and salty. Oh, so good. <clears throat> Teddy bear is down here waiting for his turn at being the taste tester. Oh, Teddy, wait till you try this. Okay, so we have here Keto Maui ribs. They are juicy, succulent, full of flavor. Make these and let me know what you think of them. I think you're going to love them. See you next time. So while we were filming the video, I totally forgot to mention the experimental rib. That's the rib where I just used the, the one rib in the bag with the sauce, the pre-made sauce, and it was excellent. Not as sweet as the Maui rib sauce, but it was still really good, and I would definitely marinate ribs in that for a future meal. I'll just grab. <laughs> Are these sneezes going to be in my video? <laughs>